Alright, we just arrived in Coron after a very short flight from Manila. The weather is amazing, super warm. I'm looking forward to the beach. So let's do it. Okay, so begins our trip to the island uh, of the Two Seasons Resort. I'm very glad to be going back to that place because I really loved it. And hopefully this time I'll have more time to actually visit more of the islands around. It's really, really hot and I'm still adjusting to the brightness. I might have to get my shades out. It's so exciting to be here. The first leg of the trip is done, which was uh, the ride in the van from the airport to the Two Seasons Hotel, which is right here. And uh, just like last time, we're gonna get a speedboat all the way to the island. My favorite part, last time I got drenched <laughs> from all the waves, but today the sea is all flat, so it's gonna be all good. I mean, not that I mind, it's really hot right now, but uh, yeah, looking forward to get to the resort and eat lobster. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. The trip was better this time. Obviously, like no water can get in here. Also, there's no waves. I mean, look at this. Okay, so the long-awaited moment of the lunch. So here I have this prawns, king prawns with a Japanese style curry and it looks very delicious. So I'm really looking forward. This is actually my first course. I'm gonna have more fish later, which is ideal in this hot climate to, you know, stuff your face and then just go for a swim to digest it. Let's do it, let's try. Oh. <laughs> I'm so wise. <laughs> mm. It's yummy. All right, so now that the curry is out of the way, I mean, all down here, it's time for some more protein <laughs> in the form of this amazing snap grilled snapper. The seafood here is very good. I wish I could eat this like every day. It's a lie, I like pasta and pizza as well, and steak. But once a week. Mm. So yummy. Alright, so this is my second time here at the Two Seasons Coron. Last time I had a very nice beach bungalow, which was right on the beach as the name says this time I'm a, bit, I'm a bit further up the island I mean the entire island is you can literally walk it it's, it's really tiny and I'm at the very end of this island in this beautiful villa here I'm so so pleased but I'll show you around the main thing about this is obviously the amazing view this is usually the windy side and today is actually quite the right so there are a few boats with Koreans, I think, swimming around with the long sleeves. And then upstairs, yeah. This is like a really cool mezzanine um, with another glass wall. Come here and check it out. With all the rocks. I love this, it's so awesome. Oh my god, it's like a furnace. 
Sroha. Is that a jacuzzi here? Check this out. Yeah, you get in a shower, you know, looking at the ants crawling up the rock, you know, keeping your company. I mean, there's no one around here, so there's no, no problem. No one can actually paparazzi their way through there. Okay, good morning everyone. It's half past seven. We have an appointment with the boat at eight, just over there. And uh, today we're gonna do the Coron Island tour. But first, breakfast. So I just uh, picked some roast, roasted chicken and garlic rice, some fruits, and now I'm waiting for eggs. It's like pretty simple. Um, quite hungry, so I really want to get on with it. So uh, I don't normally have roast chicken for breakfast, but. It's pretty good. So we are ready for this. This is our, our bigger boat. And uh, it's gonna be a long trip because we're going all the way to Coron Island, which is that way. So I don't know, it'll probably take more than an hour. Uh, the outrigger boat looks really cool, but it's also very slow. Hopefully we'll get a nap maybe on the way. I have my Apple shoes here, very cool. This is gonna be, you know, the next designer collection. And, So we made it to Kayanga Lake uh, after like about an hour trip and this is the entry lagoon as you can see we're gonna just, uh, stop the boat there and then we need to actually hike up this uh, hill here and go down to the actual lake where we'll be snorkeling to be like a mixture of salt and sweet water I'm very excited because obviously when that happens the color is really really green as you can see here it's really cool so excited let's do it ready for this that was pretty fast to go up now we have to go down there's like lots of people struggling here actually Okay, so here we are at the lake. Um, this is actually a mixture of sweet and salt water. So it's gonna be a mixture of hot and cold as well. And as I said, this is super popular. You see lots of tourists like snorkeling here because there's a, a very particular ecosystem. Um, it's a very strict policy here of you have to wear your life vest. You can see everyone is wearing a life vest to go in. I brought mine, so I'm ready to go in. Okay, so we did the swim in the lake, we uh, climbed up back and now we're heading down there, back to the boat and to the next destination. Let's do it. Ok, 
Okay, we are in Twin Lagoon. And you have to swim like under the rock to access this place. But once you're here, it's really magical. You're surrounded by these really tall cliffs with all the trees hanging off them. And the color is really, really green. And they, on the top, there's a layer of cold water. And it's really cool. Like <clears throat> the kind of uh, scenery underwater is very unique as well. And uh, I mean, I really love this place. It's so cool. Let's go for like a little dive. All right, everyone, it's lunch time. So we've been swimming for a very long time in the Twin Lagoon. I was really enjoying that one. It was really like a beautiful setting and the water was very deep. So I could dive, you know, like for me, swimming is three dimensional. It's just, just, you know, 2D on the surface. I like to dive continuously and explore everything. And it was really, really unique. And uh, but for sure that made me hungry. So luckily enough, the table has been set, the food is ready for us on this beautiful beach here. I mean, check this out! So, the, the lunch is all ready. We have, obviously, fresh fruit, some fish, tuna steak probably, veggies, king prawns grilled, squid, chicken, rice. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. A little calamansi here with the chili to make the sauce. Let's eat, please. I'm really hungry. Like, look at me with my table manners. I'm wearing a speedo, of course. <laughs> right, bon appetit, everyone. Oh, it's perfect. Just what I needed. Good morning, everyone. Just had breakfast and uh, today I'm just gonna chill here at the Two Seasons Island. There are a few things that we can do. The first thing I wanna do is to check out the sand, the famous sandbar that is right here at the back. I tried to check it out yesterday, but the tide was, it was too late, the tide was high, but it was a really cool spot. So I wanna go and see, you can actually walk to the next island along the sandbar. Um, and then maybe do some kayaking, some more activities here. There's like a tiny gym here, so I'm definitely gonna hit a workout as well. So exciting day ahead. The weather is just perfect. Let's go. travel a lot there's always one problem which is finding the gym and most hotels have like really tiny gyms maybe with one treadmill or you know not much so you have to be really inventive but I really like this place because even though the gym is small the few items they have are actually very useful because you can you know mix and match and create a few workouts uh, and you know it makes my day so much better like being here in this island you're so isolated from everything, the fact that I have a gym, like, I can't express how happy I am. Good morning, everyone. It's our last day here. Well, actually tomorrow will be because we're leaving tomorrow, but we have a great eight ahead because we're taking a speedboat and we're going all the way to Pass Island, which is kind of far. That's why today we're going with the speedboat and not with the outrigger because the outrigger would have been way too slow for this. But we're going to see a lot of cool stuff today. First, this shipwreck of a World War II Japanese ship. And then we will uh, stop at a coral garden, which I'm very much looking forward. I love coral gardens. And after that, 
we'll have lunch in the beautiful Pass Island, which is, you know, those idyllic islands with the white sand all around, a perfect spot for lunch. So let's do this. All right, so we are at the site of the Luzon uh, warship. It was a Japanese uh, ship that was sunk during World War II in 1944. And you can see the, the tip of it right out of the surface there. And then it just goes down, but you can see most of it here. It's, uh, it's, a, very, it's a very big ship actually, over 30 meters. And so, We'll kit it out and ready to go check it out. Okay, cool. The shipwreck was really, really amazing. Um, the boat was like lying kind of at 45 degrees sideways and uh, it was encrusted in all different types of coral and all kind of life form um, all these colorful fish is really really beautiful and uh, I managed to also go inside you can like sort of swim inside the ship and come out of the various openings it was a really cool experience and obviously lots of corals nearby and uh, I really loved it. Um, now we just moved like a few hundred meters down the coast and uh, we're gonna explore the coral garden here. So yeah, let's let's get down to it. This place really speaks for itself. It's uh, I mean look at it, white sand, like crystalline water all around and today we're very lucky with the weather because there's literally not a single wave and uh, just like the other places today we are kind of the first, I mean there's a boat there but I think that's just like people who work here and uh, it feels like I'm landing on new land you know, it's uh, so beautiful, look at it so peaceful palm trees it's like postcards literally postcard uh, view and this is where we're having lunch by the way so I'm very excited about that it's gonna be the perfect view here we are at the most awaited moment of the day the lunch so pass island and we're right, obviously right on the beach under the palm trees and we have a beautiful table laid out with octopus, grilled fish steaks, stingray, noodles, rice and fresh fruit. What <laughs> more could you want? I mean it's awesome. Have some fish. It's good for you, you know, for your brain. You should always have fish. Mm. Very good. I feel I feel smarter already. <laughs> it is with much sadness that we are leaving this place, the Two Seasons Resort in Koron. It's uh, it's been a very quick week. We arrive on Monday and it's Friday already. Where did all the time go? Um, I mean, this place will definitely be missed. Um, now we are gonna get the boat and go ag back again to Coron, and then we have the van trip to the airport and then from there to Manila. Manila and uh, rain was waiting for us to welcome us here 
Just a reminder that I'll be flying back to London tomorrow. Actually, I'll be departing again the day after, so I'm not too concerned about that. It's definitely been a wonderful trip. I have accepted the yellow umbrella. Uh, they had yellow umbrellas also on the way there, but it was for the sun. Uh, I didn't take it, you know. Maybe I should have, for good luck. Anyway, thank you so much for following me in this trip. And uh, hopefully I will see you again soon on another amazing adventure. Take care of yourself.